Hi, and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Timberborn. Timberborn is a new city builder. It's in early access and it's available on Steam. The link will be down below. We're just going to get straight into it. This is just a city builder where you use beavers to build a city after humanity has self-destructed. So let's just get in, have a look at it. It's uh, it's quite fun, quite addictive, um, but I do suck at it, so just be warned. All right. Let's go. We're going to get a new game. There are two factions. There are the Folk Tales and they're the Iron Teeth. Folk Tales, easy going but hard working. Folk Tales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto comfort, food, and sturdy wood. And our other faction is Iron Teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways. They mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity, efficiency, and disregard for the environment. Their motto work hard, work hard. Now, we can't get them at the moment because we haven't unlocked them. That's okay. So that's not even a choice. So we got the folk tales. Here we go. Now, um, there's a whole pile of different maps in here. Um, they're not procedurally generated or anything like that. So they're just preset maps. And you can actually make your own maps, um, which can be be fun. So um, we might look at making a map in another episode and just sort of show you how we do that. Anyway, uh, Plains 256, 256 is recommended. It's a large map. Um, another one that's good is Thousand Islands, but um, we tend to struggle with that one a little bit. I've played it a couple of times. Um, but anyway, we, we're just going to get going with this one. We'll just see how we go. Now, like I said, I'm not necessarily great at the game, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to start on normal. We could start on easy. Um, do I start on easy? No, look, if, if, I, if I fail this, this first one on normal, we might start on the one on easy. Uh, but for now, we'll just do normal. That's what they recommend. Let's go. All right, so this is um a, a very fun little game. Now we're not going to crack any jokes about beavers. That's just it. They're just beavers, right? That's um just deal with it. Uh, tip: If a building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or a warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. Yes, that's one of the wonderful things about this game. It is very very good. Right, pause. Okay, this is Timberborn. This is our our map. This is where we we've got to work with. Um, there's some devastation as in some dry arid areas and there's some nice um, lush areas that are frequented by water so what we've got to do is we've got to build up our little beaver empire now what happens is there's a uh, water supply so water supply comes in from here there we go so this these rocks here basically uh, shows you that's where the water's coming in now the water's going to flow down through here and then it comes down through and past our little civilization where we are now, down through here. Now, what we've got to work out what we're going to do is uh, in relation to any damming and building and irrigation, we've got to, to, to get this area here and use it, we've got to irrigate it, we've got to give water to it. So what, what do we do? Do we build a channel? Do we irrigate it? There's a whole pile of different things we have to think about. But to start off with, we just need to get these guys to survive. So let's get started over here. Now, we're not in a bad position here, really. It's not too bad. Um, now, what we do want to do, though, at some point, is we do want to get a bit of a, a dam running. And I don't know that this is really going to be the area we need to use. So we, we may have to end up moving. But anyway, All right, let's get started, Duck. So this is our district. So we, we can build multiple districts and we start off with, with the first district here. And this is where our base camp basically. Um, you can have up to four workers in here. Now these workers will actually transport goods, help build all that sort of stuff when they're inside. <clears throat> so that's that's what we have there. So uh, looking at the, the UI, these are all our building tools down here. So we can actually select what we're gonna build, plant, all that sort of stuff we'll get to in a minute. This here is just the, the startup tutorial, um, which we'll follow along to make sure we don't um, screw anything up. That just takes into the menu and the options. And up here we have uh, some toolbars and information. So this is telling you our science level. This one here tells our materials, uh, tells our food, how many logs we've got stored and how much water we've got stored. Now, vitally important water and food. So we have to keep an eye on that. Uh, our population. So we have 11, 11 beavers in our, in our civilization at the moment. Uh, seven adults, four children. We have 11 of them are homeless because we don't have any homes built for them. And the district center, uh, so this here is for uh, total employment. 
So for this district, if we select that, it's only for the district. Um, but anyway, we have two out of four in the district and we have five beavers unemployed. All right, so let's get started. So we have berries over here. So berries are a good start to food. We have trees over here. Uh, it's all nice and dry over there. We have some trees over here. We have some berries over here. Show. Sure. Right, let's get cracking. Now, what we do want to do at some point, if, if we're going to put on this food, we have to keep water here. So we are going to get, at some point, we'll get um, very hot days. We'll go through a drought. And that's where we have to um, be careful what we're doing. So what we're going to do first off. So it says we need to build lumberjack flags, paths, and mark trees for cutting. Right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a path. So we'll build a little path out here. I'm going to build this path to there. I'm going to build a path out to there. Right. Now, uh, I'm going to start by collecting these here these trees and these over here. I want to get a, a good stockpile of uh, berries up. Now, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I want to come across there like that. I'm going to put in one lumber jack there. I'm going to come across to here. We're going to put a lumber jack in here. Um, I'm going to put one in there like that. Now this, this, when you actually place things, it tells you what the zone is. So the area of effect that it can actually pick trees from is bounded by the, the cyan boundary. So uh, obviously in here, we've actually been able to capture all these trees up in through here. So that'll be fine. Uh, I then need to put down uh, some berry collections. So gather a flag. Now I'm going to put a gather a flag. So it's not going to go too far over that way, so that's fine. So we're going to put a gatherer flag in here. I'm going to rotate it that way. That'll collect all these berries down here, and then I need another one up in here. But the problem I've got is I need a path. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to get a path through there, but I think I should be able to. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this... Uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm going to put that one here like that. Okay, let's see if I can put a path in there firstly. I'm going to see if I can string a path there. Oh, it does work. Right. I swear on the last time I played this map, I didn't do that. Right. There we go there. And join that up to there. And join that up to there. Right. So what they're going to do is they're going to come out, they're going to build those collection points, and then they're going to staff them. So I'll have four people straight away will be busy in there. Okay. Excellent. So that's that done. Now, uh, um, paths. So that's going to be done. Mark trees for cutting. Now, I always forget to do this. Always forget to do it. I get started, and then I'm like, oh, shit. Nope, got to catch up. Right, so we're going to mark trees for cutting. Now we're beavers. We want to take all the trees. All the trees there. And same over here. We're going to take all the trees. All those trees, they're in sight. We're going to take. And we're also going to take these ones as well. Just because we can. All right, any greenies watching? Turn off your set now. Right, there we go. Um, that's all good. Now, so they're gonna start eating away at the trees. We're gonna start collecting some food and then we're all going to be okay. Let's uh, get cracking. We'll go on to the medium speed. Now I'm gonna fill that up because we've got three unemployed still. So at the moment I had five. So this way it just, maximizes uh, the amount of people I've got doing stuff, which is great. As you can see, they've gone up there, built that one there, built that one there, and now we're collecting food and everything else. So our food will start increasing and our logs have started to increase. Okay, we've already done that first part. Now we've got to build a water pump and we've got to build a gatherer flag. So I'm going to pause it again. So the water pump is pretty important. Now, what we'll need to be able to do is have water all through the period where we run out of everything else. So we need to have a bit of a, um, a stockpile. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to work out how we can dam some of this area to maximize our, our um, retention of water as well. Because what we're going to do is that, so there's a drop in water level here. I would like to dam this section through here to here somewhere. Um, so as we can actually retain some of that water, it doesn't drain off straight away. 
Now, how can I do that? Well, I have a dam, uh, blocks water, but allows some to pass through a spillway at the top. Um, that's probably the, what we want to do first, but uh, can we get it done? That is the important part. So I think what we'll do is if I segregate it off to here, that means at least up to this point here, we should be able to hold some water for a little bit longer. Um, so I think for the moment, we might put that in. I don't know if I'm going to get it finished or not. Too far away from builders, build more paths or a new district. So uh, there we go. It's going to do that there like that. Now I'm going to build a path into there like so. Like that. Build a path across. And then because once we've built this, we can also access this side of the, the river as well. So that'll be excellent. Right. Now what I'm going to do as well, just to get some movement over here, is I'm going to put another one of these in here like this. There we go. Right, and let's get started again. Now, uh, what I do need though is I need water. Uh, so I'm gonna put a water pump in. So the water pump is there. Now I can rotate using R and Shift R. Uh, and as you can see, the arrow needs to be attached to a path. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna attach that one to there like that. And I'm gonna put a small water tank next to it. So when he's pumping water, and when there's excess, it can go in here and be stored into the water tank. Right, let's go. Now, I want to make that a priority, so I'm going to prioritize that. So we can prioritize buildings. We can prioritize groups of buildings. So if I can assign priorities through here, and I can actually assign that. For instance, I could go through and assign all that as a high priority, uh, like so, if I wish to. Or I can assign it all as a higher prior a medium priority or high priority, normal so there's very low, low, normal, high, and very high. Right. So that's going off there, collecting off their trees. They're collecting some berries. That's all well and good. Now, what we're going to need, we're going to need some storage. Now, I am going to, because I already know I'm going to need storage, I'm going to put in a log yard here, and I'm going to put in a small warehouse. I'm going to put the small warehouse over this side. Yeah, like so. Now, what I also need is I also need to do some science because these guys are what's going to allow us to do unlocking of stuff. Now, uh, I'm actually going to put them right out of the way over here. Now, I'm going to build two of them straight off the bat. Two of those there. Now, what it does is a first, first in, first out type instance with building. It effectively queues it up. So as you play stuff, it will build them in that order unless you change the priority. Um, so it'll, it'll build... The storage here, the storage here, and then we'll do the two science buildings over here uh, after it's done the high priority buildings. So what do we got here? 12 out of 12 for this at the moment. So this will be finished. It's about to finish this off. Uh, we're in nighttime at the moment. They're all having a bit of a rest. We'll just fast forward through the night. So this is our timing scale through here. And there we go, back to daylight. So we'll just drop it back down to medium speed. And they're off and running again. We have no unemployed beavers. They're all busy. Because now, we have the water pump. Now, the water pump, we don't have anyone unemployed, so he's not going to fill that. So we're going to take one away from there. And now, hopefully, we should get a worker in here. Nope, because we've got extra of those. Yep, no, he's in there. There we go. So, Romavax. <laughs> Sounds like a vaccine, doesn't it? Romavax is actually in there looking after our water pump. And uh, as you can see, our water production has increased, which is wonderful. So now they're going to set this up, but I don't want that actually going as yet. In fact, no, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that one off. I'm going to pause that one. So we can actually pause items during building, or we can pause them um, while they're functioning. So we can actually pause. So for instance, we could pause this. Um, in fact, what's he doing? Hockham is sitting there doing nothing. Bludger. Um, probably because I haven't got enough storage. Uh, so... You can pause and, and hold all that off. Now, see, there are all these guys here in need water. So they're going to run over here and they're going to try and grab some water. There we go. And as they come out, their demand for water has been um, quenched. There we go. So they're all good. So we've got the water there. So that's, that's saved them from doing that. Right, so we've done this part now as well. Uh, while all of the buildings you placed have some storage, they'll fill up quickly, build a log pile to store logs, a small water tank to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. So we've got all those in the queue to be built. So that's fine. And as you can see, our dam here has progressed. So we've built the first module. We've just got six to go. 
Now, can we get that done before the first drought comes in? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Things are going off okay at the moment. Now, what we also need to do is we need to build some houses. So the beavers won't procreate um, until we've got excess housing. So at the moment, we've stuck with 11 people. That's all we're going to have until we build some houses and some entertainment uh, and all that sort of stuff for them. So um, I need to think about what I'm going to do for housing. I'm thinking all my housing, I might put that... Uh, I'm thinking about how I'm going to extend this up here. Might put the houses at the back here. One, two, three, four. Method to my madness for later on. Uh, yeah, five through fifteen. So that'll be fine. That'll give us enough. Uh, so we'll put that in there. I'm going to put a path. So they've got access. I'll bring that path down through here. That gives me some room for building there, which is fine. And I'm going to bring that all the way over to there. Okay. Right. Now, this is continued on. They continue on with that. Um, what do these take? They take 20 logs. So it's a fair bit of work there for them. Um, right. What we really want to do, though, is I really want these houses built. So I'm going to prioritize these houses now. Get the houses done and I'm going to they're still set to high so they should now and they have see they've now prioritized the housing so they brought some logs over here now they've gone over here to the houses instead because that's the priority so uh, three out of 12 so 12 so we need uh, 60 logs to do our houses uh, and then these are still sitting at normal so we'll come across and do these shortly um, that'll be fine all right, we've got uh, plenty of food at the moment. We've got some logs being supplied and built up, though I haven't got any stored in here. I'm actually just going to make that priority. I'm going to make that a priority as well. I want to get my storage areas built. So then that way what we can do is we can we can start stockpiling if we have an excess of production um, instead of them just sitting back and doing nothing. Right. So... Um, Coming into the next night, we're going to fast forward through the night. Now, I can change the working hours as well. So, for instance, if we wanted to, we can work them work them to the bone and have them work in 24 hours. Now, each of the beavers as well, you can check on their, their health and their well-being. Uh, and so when we get through the next day, I'll do that. So we'll just about to transition now. There we go. Right. So over here, who we got here? Nemero. Right. So he's homeless. Uh, he works at the district centre. Well-being. So the well-being is important. We need to get the well-being uh, up. So hunger. Um, he's not hungry, but if it needs not satisfied, he'll die. So obviously hunger, thirst, and sleep. So because I had them working through 24 hours, um, they're getting a little bit low on sleep. So social life. Social life imp increases the fertility by 50%. So if they've got a social life, they're more likely to procreate. Uh, fun. If they have fun, they're likely to increase their working speed by 15%. Three levels of nutrition. Uh, nutrition one is uh, carrots, I think it was. Nutrition two um, is potatoes. And nutrition three is bread. Uh, we have comfort. Effects of comfort, life expectancy plus 25%, walking speed plus 5%, knowledge, spirituality. So all these things here we need to sort of keep in mind as well because it actually increases the productivity of our beavers all right there's our first house built so as you can see now we've got 11 population we've got three housing so we've obviously then got eight that are homeless so that's fine now our warehouse here has been um, built which is fine and we've got the ability to increase decrease all that sort of stuff in here uh, this normal default desired is 20 of everything um, but uh, we don't care about that. So, for instance, at the moment, I'm going to have my desire of berries is 200. And I'm going to put my desire of nothing else. I'm going to leave that. Right. Now, one thing I haven't looked at doing yet. Now, we've got the houses going and all that sort of stuff. I want to put in um, some farmland. So, I want to grow some carrots, for instance. And I want to get some potatoes going. I want to get a whole pile of things moving. So, um, also, I want to get some wooden planks. Now, 
So we have to think about what we're going to do here. Now, for the wooden planks, uh, so the planks are down here, we have to build a lumber mill. Now, the lumber mill also requires, as you can see there, it's got one beaver and under the title of lumber mill, uh, one beaver and 50 HP. So it needs power. How do we get power? Well, power we get supplied by either a water wheel, so we can build a water wheel in, in the waterway, or we can build it with a power wheel. So it's a hamster wheel, effectively, the beaver will run around in. Uh, or later on, when we get some research points, we can build a windmill or a large windmill. Um, so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to build a water wheel. Um, now, I think if I put the water wheel... Yeah, I, I don't like the placement of that. No, no I'm not happy there. Not happy, Jan. I'm going to put that. No, I think I'm going to have to put it down here somewhere. Um, I'm going to put it there. Okay. So now they're going to build that water mill as well. Uh, the water wheel, I should say. Now, to get the water wheel to work, we need to then have, okay, so let's put in our um, lumber mill. So lumber mill is here. So I'm gonna put a lumber mill, I'm gonna build him, one will be there, one will be there. So I'm gonna leave space for a second one here. Now we're gonna put the path in, so as we don't have any problems with the pathing. A path into there, and across to there, there we go. Right. So they're going to get to that all right. Now, how am I going to get power to this? Well, we need to build some some gears and shafts. So we're going to build... Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a straight shaft out of there. Shaft there, shaft there. I'll then rotate with my R key. Shaft there, shaft there. And then we've got elbow turns. So that's a, U, uh, sorry, a 90 degree turn. We then have a T intersection and we have a four-way intersection. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually going to put a four-way, it costs a lot more to make a four-way, so four-way is four block, four, three, two, and one. Um, I'm going to put a four-way in here, just for in the, later on we can actually expand through here. And this one down here just needs to be a elbow. There we go, like that. And then to integrate into here, uh, for now I'm going to put one of these. When I build, um, my second lumber yard, I don't have to put any shafts down through to here. It'll actually get power from adjacent units, which is wonderful. All right, so we're just gonna leave that there. Leave it on normal. We're not gonna worry about um, prioritizing that for the moment. What we do need to prioritize also is that. Um, we need to store some water. Right. Um, so they're still progressing. We've got our houses progressing, progressing and we've got our food is okay. Right, but I do need to do a farm. That's what I said I need to do, wasn't it? Now, um, I'm gonna put a farmhouse in here like that, and I'm going to sow some carrots. I'm not ready to, to do the carrots yet, but I'm gonna sow them in here like this, like that. Now, I'm not sure when we when, when we do run out of water here, if we do run out of water, I'm not so sure what part of this is going to die off. Um, but as you see, it's only got a certain range. So from the water here, all this area in through here doesn't have any irrigation, so therefore it's nice and dry. Um, we have got methods of fixing that later on, but we'll come to that. Now, I want to back this off. I forgot that was on 24 hours still. We're going to let them rest. Okay, well, we've got two houses built, so we've got five homeless still. Not ideal, but that's okay. We can, we can deal with that. Now, they want water and they want food. Hopefully they'll just go in and get some food and they'll be fine. You really don't want them to die because then that's not a good start to our game, is it? Uh, there we go. He just needs a bit of water. Continue. Right, we've done the tutorial. Excellent. Come on, get some water. Right, there we go. They've got some water now. They're, they're all good. Right. Let's see. Where are we at now? Eight. Okay. So that house there will be built shortly, which means 
we'll be too homeless. So once we've got all these houses built, we'll be um, we'll be okay. Now, I'm going to queue up some leisure. Uh, Oh, there we go. So the lodge is built, and straight away, Romovac, Zlaffy, and Kiramim have all moved in. Excellent. Now, I'm going to build a campfire here to keep these guys happy as well. Right there in the middle. Okay. And in fact, I should prioritize that as well, just purely from the fact of um, it will assist us in getting some more uh, people into the civilization, or more beavers, I should say, not people. Right, they're um, chugging through that okay there. Still got a fair few berries there, which is fine. Um, yeah, I really do want to get this done. Right, unemployed. I've still got, I've got two unemployed, so I'm going to put another one in back in there. Um, he's good now. Right, three houses. Fast forward the rest of the night. And there we go. Right, now let's have a look at their... Um, I don't know who we looked at before. You see sleep. They've all had a, a full night's sleep. Comfort has increased. Okay, so they've because they've had a sleep. So where's one of the guys that didn't? So this guy here, who's homeless, hasn't got a comfort level. Whereas these guys here, that have all slept in the houses, have increased their comfort level a little bit. Um, so their life expectancy increases and their walking speed increases, which is excellent. Right, let's uh, continue on. Okay, you never know. They might they might just do it. You know. So uh, this this here too is our log. It tells us what's going on with our with our beavers. So on cycle one day six, and this cycle one day six up here, uh, Jayunya has grown up. So now we have no children. So that's fine. Um, the science areas are haven't progressed, so that's okay. Go on. I'm going to fast forward you as well. Now, all this stuff here still hasn't been fast forward. That's fine. I don't. I need logs for the farm, which is excellent. So I have 25 logs. So I'm not reliant upon the planks. Now, the planks, I am reliant upon, though, to build a lot of, a lot of other things and to expand. Um, but uh, for now, that will be fine. So let's just fast forward a bit more. And we'll see what else we can get done. Right, all our houses now are built. So now we have homeless uh, of zero. Now, uh, we have there comfort, sleep, well being. Right, we'll just keep that going and just see what happens. We'll go through another day or so. It is almost time for the end of the episode. We've time's flown. Um, we don't want to have it running on flat strap all the time. We, we do need to sort of keep it. Keep a bit of an eye on things. Uh, but certainly at the moment, we've got plenty of food, which is good. We've got water, which is built up. Probably could do with another storage tank, to be honest. Um, and probably could do with some extra food stored. And in fact, I might have to build another small warehouse as well. Um, but certainly for the moment, I think we're okay. These guys will be prioritizing. Here we go. So the farm has almost been built. So as soon as the farm gets built, two beavers will be working in the farm. And they'll start planting and harvesting carrots when they're ready. Um, so that's good. Our water supply here is full. So I'm going to put another one of these in, even though that's not going to last long because we will be putting a bigger one in later on. And there we go. So they're now planting carrots. So this will assist us with our food. So um, watered and alive, it provides hunger and nutrition one. Excellent. Now the berries here, they provide hunger or fulfill hunger but they don't provide nutrition so what we'll see is once we've actually started and the 
berries are starting to run out. So timing is essential to get these uh, carrots in. Once we see uh, our beavers eating the carrots, we should see them with nutrition one as well. All right. Okay, we've got any more. We've got some more berries over there. We're not going to really get to there easily, though, are we? I don't know berries on this side. Um, so, yeah, so we need we need the planks running now, and then we need to get our um, forestry building researched as well. So the forestry building uh, over here, the forester, um, enables us to plant trees and bushes so we can plant that, put that down, and we can actually plant trees and, and berries um, to facilitate growth. We've got 189 food at the moment. That's probably okay. Uh, the carrots are at 25% thereabouts. Um, so, yeah, we're not doing too bad. I might just keep this going, see where we get up at the end of this day. Uh, but then that will be it for this episode. So, um, there we go. Excellent. So, we've reached level 5 happiness. So, in doing that as well, um, we've also... Um, with our goals here, so um, hunger 13 to 13, uh, social life 11 out of 13, comfort 13 out of 13, which means so that's all of our um, beavers had um, had homeliness. Um, and as you can see here, progress is four out of eight um, to get iron teeth unlocked, and that's what we want to do so we can go play and play their, their, them as well. All right. I'm going to leave it right there, though. I think now we're going to come out of the daylight. There we go. Right. And that's it. But what you will notice as well, we've had some baby beavers. So Zumabad was born and Mimei was born. So we now have two children, 11 adults. Excellent. All right. But that is it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. This is Timberborn. It's now in early access available on the Steam. Uh, it's a great little game. I'm actually hooked on it. Uh, it's very good. Uh, so go check it out. Up until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks All Gaming and Timberborn. See you later. Bye.